Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you um, how to rewash a, and mainly reseat a kitchen tap. Uh, this can be a basin tap or a bath tap, they're all the same. Um, but I'm going to show you this particular tap, as you can see uh, it's dripping there. And you can hear it dripping and see it coming out there. So I'm going to show you how to fix it now. If you're in a hard water area like London and around Kent, um, you're going to find that it's not probably the washer that's gone. You can renew the washer and it won't do the job, it will still drip. Because a lot of the times it is the seating of the tap that needs grinding. And for that you're going to need a special tool. They're thankfully not that expensive these days. And this is it. This is called a reseating tool. And it has a metal grinder on the bottom there and I'll show you how to use it. And we'll grind this seat down and change the washer. I'll take you through it. Um, it's not a very expensive tool now, it's about eight pounds. It's something you can use forever more afterwards. So we'll start now with getting the top of the tap off. But first of all, make sure you turn the water off. In our case, it's under the sink here. Um, and it's, it's right down there. I think you can just see a red handled tap there. Um, and that's it down there. Okay, I've shut that down now. So we should be able to turn our tap on and um, empty what's in the pipe. And we'll start with getting this blue cap off first. First of all we've got to get this little nozzle off, the little blue cap. Get a little shoot, sharp screwdriver under there and just ping him off and it will come away. Okay as such. Under there um, you'll find a posi screw. It's usually the case. It's usually a posi screw. And I'll show you that. Um, and there it is there. Okay. One posi screw. So get your screwdriver and get it in the posi hole and See if we can get him out. They're usually a little bit tight, but not too bad. Okay, and unscrew that. Put that out of there. And then we should be able to lift our top off once that's clear, like so. So there's the top. Okay, now once that's out, that leaves the body of our tap to be undone. Um, and this is probably the hardest bit of the job in my opinion. So I'll get the spanners ready to show you. Okay, there we have our tap. I'm going to show you how we get this off now. Now in order not to mark this, we don't want to scratch it. Um, I use a box spanner like this. Um, what I do is I put an old tea cloth around the spout like so. Push that on so that I can hold against. If you don't do that, the whole tap's gonna turn around in its socket. It's very hard to hold it with your left hand and turn it as well, so it is better to use something that gives you a bit of leverage. A piece of plastic pipe will also do the same thing if you've got an old bit laying around. And get your spanner on, and it will be a bit tough to push it first, but once it's gone, it will go. So just keep pushing, and there she goes. Now that, that's it. We've got the body of the tap off, and you take your spanner away. And she will come out with your fingers now. And here we have the offending article. We'll renew the washer in a second. That's a simple part. But the main thing I'm going to show you is, is the seat into this tap, which is down there. And I'm going to show you how this tool works. So we'll put the camera there. This is our receiver. Um, now I've already put the right cutters on. Um, there's different size cutters and there's different size threaded parts for different size taps. Um, so I know that this size is this particular one because I've done it before. Um, but that one's for bath taps and these are for different sizes, older taps. Get the right one on. It's easy. That just pulls off. That just unscrews, I should say, off that thread. Put the right cutter on and the right threaded part for your tap. And simply insert it like so in your tap and this threaded part at the bottom here as you can see will do up into the body screw that in screw it down till it doesn't stop okay now with this particular grinder you just push down on the handle you can hear it grinding the seam and we just keep that going and take any cuts and grooves that are in that seating out of it and make it nice and clean so there's now a nice solid firm flat surface for the washer to go against so we'll have a look at that take it out now if you have a look now down at our seating you can see it's shiny and all the cuts have gone out of it there was a little cut in there and you can see it looks like a new tap again now I know when I do the washer now that that is going to make a lovely firm sit in there so we'll change the change of washer now 
Okay, as you can see, is our body assembly, and there is a screw there that's got to come off, and we'll just get our screwdriver, like so, in there, and unscrew it. Okay, take that screw out. Out of there. Now the most difficult bit is getting this, this washer out of there. Um, it is the toughest part of the operation. Be very careful with your fingers getting this out of this housing. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit to get this out. So I'm going to stop the camera and just get it out because I don't want to waste your time looking at seeing how that washer comes off. you just got to keep on until it pops out. So I'll just cut to the quick and show you it out. Right, there you are, it's out. Um, now you can see there's a little bit of scowl there. Um, clean that off. Um, again, you've got to make sure it's a nice smooth flat surface for the washer to sit on. So clean that away, make sure there's nothing left there. Okay, and make sure that it's a nice smooth surface in there for the washer to sit back in. So any scowl, scrape it away. Again, be careful not to slip and cut your hand or anything of the like, like that. So clean all the muck off. Once you're sure it's all away, then put your new washer on. There's our new washer on. Um, she's all ready to go back now. Um, get a little cleaner grease around there. If there's any muck or anything around there, clean it off the threads. Um, it's a lot better um, and it will make removing it next time a bit easier. Um, that's it really. Uh, we now stick it back in our tap like so. Okay, screwing down and give a nip up with a spanner so and then put our top on and that goes on there on the thread like so and then our screw in there screw back in um, there we are there's the top and don't forget your little blue cap put it in there and uh, that's it really turn the water back on and the job should be a good one Okay, well thanks very much for watching YouTubers. Uh, catch me again, Derridon33, for all my uh, how to do it and fix it videos. Thanks again, bye bye.